starting off, we're going to use Ben Nye Banana Powder and we're going to set it underneath the eyes with the beauty blender that's dry, not wet. And this will help out to collect any fallout from the eyeshadow when we're bumping up this eye look. Now with any dark brown matte eyeshadow and a pencil brush, I'm going to apply on the bottom lash line and smudge it out. When doing this, make sure you don't put too much product on the brush because you can always build up versus taking away. So now with that same matte eyeshadow and an angled eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go into the crease of the, of the eye and slowly apply and buff that same dark eyeshadow. Now with the tapered blending brush, I'm gonna go in and even blend more. This just makes sure that there's no harsh lines and that it looks effortless. With Hot Makeup's My Addiction Eye Primer, I'm gonna put a little bit onto the lid of the eye. Um, this is really important when you're using eyeshadows because this is gonna allow the product to stay on longer, hold better, and show more pigment. This eyeshadow primer is really pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. Now with Hot Makeup's hot candy eyeshadow, we're gonna apply it onto the lid. This color is called Moody Monday. It's a really beautiful golden brown uh, color, so it's going to be perfect to make those eyes really pop out. Because this eyeshadow is a pressed pigment, you don't wanna go and just put it on. You wanna be very careful and you wanna pat it on. You don't wanna rub it with the brush. This is gonna allow it to stick better and show better. If you just wipe it on, it's gonna flake everywhere and you don't want that. Now with a medium sized powder brush, I'm gonna go in and gently wipe away the Ben Nye powder. Uh, now that we're done with the eyeshadow, we can do this so that if any of the eyeshadow fell down, we can wipe it away gently without it getting onto the face. Now using Hot Makeup's Luminous Eyeshadow in Gemstone, I'm going to add more onto the brow bone. If you watched the previous video, this is the same color I used for the highlight, but since I was blending and adding color, some of it tends to go away. Dose of Colors has this baked highlighter. This shade is the color Sunkiss. This is one of my go-to highlighter colors. It's a beautiful, warm, golden highlighter. I use it all over the cheeks. I applied it with a medium-sized blush brush and softly on the apples and then going up all the way on the cheekbone. After I apply it onto the cheeks, I dust the little extra on the forehead and hairline. Um, this just adds extra depth to the face and it makes the face slender down. So now for the second highlight. I'm using Dose of Colors Baked Highlighter in Pearl Dust. This color, I love it specifically for the bridge of the nose. I don't use the other colors because I don't wanna put gold, yellow, or warm tones on the bridge of the nose because I want the highlight to really show. So this pearl dust is perfect for this. I'm still gonna take a little bit and slightly put it just on the apples of the cheek. For this bump up for the brows, we're using Hot Makeup's Tint and Set in the color Warm Brown. I didn't wanna to add too much color with the powder, so I decided to use this because it's gonna add pigment to the brows, keep them in place, but not look too dramatic. Hot Makeup has a lip gloss and it's called Glistening Gloss. This color is Inspire. I'm applying it with a lip brush. The reason why I like this formula is because it's really creamy and it's not sticky. So it's gonna add that nice highlight because it's not too pigmented, but just enough amount of pigment to make the lips pop and shine without overpowering the look. Even though I finished the eye look, I decided, hey, I wanna add a little bit more glimmer to this look. Too Faced has this glamorous dust. I'm using the color Nude Beam. This is a pigment with glitter in it. Now I'm gonna apply a pair of Velour Mink Lashes onto the eyes. This is gonna really make that eyelash pop. To finish off this look, I'm gonna use an eye coal from MAC in the color Fascinating. It's a white eye coal. I love using this. Now this is a little tip for everybody. If you have smaller eyes or you have a client who has smaller eyes, use these kinds of white or beige coal pencils on the waterline and it'll make your eyes appear larger. Okay, so this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, this was a bump up from a more natural look. So 
if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We have a lot more things like this coming up. And again, I'm No Just Henry. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye.